Welcome back to The Rediscovery Effect. I am Bobby, and today our guest is Jolix Luna with Jolix Luna and Muñecas Fine Art in San Antonio. Welcome, ladies. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, can you tell us what it is you do, what all you do here at your art studio? I enjoy it. Todo el tiempo me encanta estar aquí porque platico con la gente y a la vez me inspira para hacer cosas. ¿Cuál es, dice, qué es lo que te gusta hacer a ti? Me encanta pintar, es mi pasión. Art is her, her passion. She loves to paint and, and create. Perfect. Um, and when did you know, um, about what age or how did you get started in art? Comencé desde que tenía cuatro años, pero siempre he estado pintando, pintando. Y aquí en San Antonio hace 40 años, no, 50 y tantos. So she says that she started pretty much at four years old at creating art. She's always liked it, uh, but her store she opened up in 84. Uh, okay. So it's almost 40 years. Almost 40 years, that's an impressive career. Um, so since you've been doing this a long time, how do you stay motivated to, uh, to run a business and, and just have that creative drive every day? Porque todos los días es un día nuevo, un amanecer distinto gente turística diferente, entonces todo eso me motiva para hacer algo. So she's very creative, she says that every day is a new day for her, so being like that, is, that is her passion, every day is a new day, she loves the tourists, um, we're primarily uh, visited by tourists, so she okay. loves that. So her motivation is her art and, and the people. And the people. <laughs> and the people, perfect. And, and that's a great segue into our next question. So you're located down here um, off the River Walk in the historic La Vallita Center. Um, why did you pick this area to open your shop? Al principio, uh, tengo un negocio en el mercado. Y luego eh, supimos de acá y pensamos que era una oportunidad para seguir uh, eh, conectadas con el turista y seguir mi arte. So La Villita is primarily an artist um, mecca, I guess, of San Antonio. Uh, so being in, in, in Market Square for so long, uh, it's really not for to sell, you know, as, as an artist. You, you have find a lot of crafts, but not, you know, typically the art format. Uh, when the opportunity arose for La Villita, uh, it, it just opened up that opportunity to sell her artwork now uh, here. Mm -hmm. And uh, she still gets to see all the tourists because she loves that part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the people. The people. The people. The people. people. They drive you. Mm -hmm. Y ella motivándome <laughs> constantemente. <laughs> and I motivate her. And she says I'm a bad boss. Navigita <laughs> 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 is a great opportunity for artists, uh, you know, because you have uh, about 300 different artists in La Villita because mm -hmm. there's different studios mm -hmm. around uh, within the La Villita and um, people that like art come to La Villita. Right. And so the it's the perfect, group, the River right Arts group, group, the starving artists, uh, the little studio gallery. So it is just the center of a lot of artists here. Mm -hmm. and, and I do think, um, because I have talked to several artists in the San Antonio area, there seems to be a bigger um, movement of art mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, you know, in San Antonio, so we're very happy to, to see that grow here. Um, so you did talk a little bit about the people being one of your favorite things about the neighborhood, which is fabulous. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the changes that you may have seen in the neighborhood? La construcción. <laughs> bueno, <laughs> sí, sí nos ha, este... No. Uh, Pero, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué cambios has visto en el centro? Hermoso que se va a poner. A mí me encanta todos los días el progreso y, y nada es permanente. Todo tiene que... Si la tierra se mueve, nosotros nos tenemos que mover. Por eso yo estoy conforme con que cuando se termine va a ser hermoso todo. So what motivates her has been actually the changes that the downtown area has, mm -hmm. has had. Um, she loves prog uh, progress uh, mm -hmm. and she, she loves uh, what the opportunity of San Antonio is going to be in, in the next couple of years. 
uh, because of everything. I mean, everything has been uh, Ch changed. changed. Yes, uh -huh. the revitalization. So, and, and those of you who watch the blog know that we talk about a lot about the construction in the neighborhood, and it's it's a growing pain. We're all suffering through, but it's going to bring wonderful change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that opportunity. I mean, she she's looking forward to that opportunity of of that change. And hopefully we'll still be here yeah. <laughs> if we yes. survive the I, construction. I, I for think sure. you will. You have beautiful things to offer the world. I think you will make it through. Hopefully. Okay. Um, you said you've been doing this for almost 40 years, or honestly, since you were four years old. What um, things come to mind when people comment about your work or say what their work means to you? Ha have there been any um, really impactful things that anyone has said to you about your art? ¿Qué es lo que más importante que te dice la gente de tu arte? Um, que soy muy especial en lo que yo pinto, o sea que tengo bien definido lo que me gusta y, y, y no puedo cambiar por más que quiero pintar más moderno o algo, yo ya tengo mi propio estilo. Y eso es lo que la gente le gusta, que enmarco mis cuadros, que soy muy delicada y me enorgullece y me siento muy confortada con eso. So she likes the comments that people have said is that she has a unique style, that she's not, you know, that her, her every drawing that she has is very kind of like unique to her. And the moment they start seeing uh, one image and another image and another image, they all kind of come together. Even though they're so different, they, they, they always tell her it's so unique and it's just kind of like her, that's her style. Okay. So that has been that important part, that she has, she's unique okay. in, in that regard. Perfect. Um, okay. And since you are a, a business owner and, and have two shops, why do you feel it's important for um, the visitors and also local people to support the small businesses in the area. Porque es importante que la, las personas locales este, apoyen a los comercios pequeños. Pues porque de ahí van a traer más gente y quiere decir que también nos reconoce nuestra misma gente de aquí. Porque uh, ellos mismos cuando vengan su gente de fuera los pueden venir a, a traer al, al centro para que conozcan lo que tenemos. Well, the, the, obviously the local support is very important, important. Uh, for to small owners, uh, especially in the downtown area. And so she says that most of the time a local only visits uh, downtown when they're bringing a tourist. But that support, the local support um, to small businesses without tourism in the pandemic was very critical because we didn't have the tourism downtown and the local support was small because they're not used to coming to downtown. That brings up a great point. And that, that was, I mean, you, it really was very hard to, to kind of go through that part because um, they, it, locals were supporting small businesses but not the ones downtown. Okay. Because those primarily were visited by tourists, tourism. so you don't have the habit of going downtown. That's true, and and with the uh, with the closures during the pandemic, the tourism basically came to a standstill. Yeah, exactly. So this was imagine. this was uh, a ghost town. I mean, downtown was I mean, Nothing. like a ghost town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we are certainly glad that you are still here after um, <laughs> after yes. the closures. Um, so um, tell us about the best ways the public can reach you, or visit your shop, or find you on social media. Okay, so, uh, well, La Villita uh, Historic uh, Arts District is, is one social media, and then within that image, uh, we do have our Instagram that's Jolix Luna, so it's basically her name. Jolix Luna, and you'll find uh, the Instagram and, and Facebook, okay. and her webpage as well. Okay. Uh, and Market Square also promotes uh, the, the stores within. So Market Square and La Villita as the city promote both places, uh, you know, the whole the okay. whole area. Be because those both commerce centers are owned by the city. But those okay. commerce, both of them are owned by the city. Mm -hmm. And then within that, then Jolix Luna would be the way, the best way okay. to follow. Uh, and what is your street address here? Uh, we're right in front of Alamo, so this is South Alamo, right mm -hmm. across from Hemisphere Plaza, uh, next to uh, the Hilton. So our street address, what the, our mailing address is uh, 
Villita Street, but really we are facing Alamo. Alamo Street. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Alamo, uh, 301, I guess Alamo would be the best way, but that's really the, the, the restaurant. Okay, okay. But for <laughs> but GPS. For GPS, it, yes. Really for GPS, Alamo. yes. Okay, uh -huh. perfect. Okay, well, ladies, thank you very much. That thank wraps you. up today's Good episode answer. of um, The Rediscovery Effect. Again, this is Bobby with uh, Remax North. I do specialize in real estate in the downtown. So if I can help you with anything, please give me a call. Until next episode, thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye.